welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about how to develop your Cinema Color Negative at home. Look about the price of color negative film now. Shooting cinema color negative film become a budget way for film photography now. If you bulk load it from a 400 foot spool film by yourself, it can lower your single row cost down to 30% of photography color negative, which I made a tutorial video. Uh, you can check this video. But many shooters still concerned uh, the worry about how to develop it. Obviously, it will be a little bit harder than the C41, which is for photography color negative film processing. The cinema color negative films processing be called ECN2, which many shooters always think it to be a little bit harder than the C41. But I would say it's quite easy, not hard at all. So why we have to do it home at home? The first reason, living in some countries like, uh, for example, like Japan, you can't find any labs to that. The reason number two is, although you can find a lab to that, but the price of ECN2 processing are pretty much expensive. For the C41 processing, uh, they are all everywhere. With a cheaper price, even in Japan, you still can find it. So we have to do it by ourselves at home, which is become a pretty easy thing for me now. So in this video, I'm going to show you with you how to develop the motion picture color negative film in my way, uh, which is a little bit change from the original ECN2 processing. So this video is for those who already have a little bit experience developing film themselves because we are not going to talk about many uh, basic details. Otherwise, the video <laughs> will be too long. So let's start it. So what is ECN2? The ECN means Eastman Color Negative. Uh, yes, definitely there was an ECN1, I think. It's from Kodak. It's an industry standard for all current motion picture color negative film development today. Luckily, Kodak had published ECN2's formula, but Kodak never published C41's. So what is the difference between ECN2 and C41? You have already heard about the ramjet layer. That black layer of carbon is behind the base of the cinema color negative film. So there is a pre-bus step in ECN2 processing to remove that carbon black layer. The cinema color negative film also can be processed in C41 chemicals by plus a pre-bus step before the development. And you also can process C41's film in ECN2 chemicals, which they all be called cross-processing. I would say the most interesting difference is more flight tones from the ECN2 chemicals. As we know, the current motion picture color negative film, the, the tones looks a little bit flat than the photography color negative. But this result, it's not only from the film itself, it's also come from the ECN2 chemicals. I like it, but if you want to do like this, you must pay attention to uh, the temperature and the development time because it's a totally different film. We are not going to talk that because uh, maybe do another video to talk about uh, cross-processing. The following will include three sections. Uh, number one, the chemicals. Number two, the processing step. The number three, some important notes. So let's start it, the chemicals. First, I was bought some ECN2 kits and it works very good, but when I use it up, but I can't get new one. It's very difficult to get them. So I have changed a little bit about the chemicals. In ECN2 processing, we need these chemicals, the pre-bus, developer, stopper, bleach, fixer, and the stabilizer. Since Kodak had published its formula, the recipe, 
so you can actually mix it up yourself from the constituent chemicals. Because my very poor the chemistry knowledge, I'm not mixed everything myself. I only pick up something very simple and uh, very easy mixing for mixing. So these are the chemical solution I'm using now. The prebus I DIY mixed. To mix the Kodak prebus, it's pretty easy. It only just need three kind of chemicals. But I didn't find this one. The only one gram for one liter solution. So I just using two kinds of chemicals and it's perfect and uh, no any problem. Developer, which is the most important chemicals in processing, I buy it. I bought both the ECN2 developer online, one liter part A and one liter part B, about $70. To make 500 milliliters developer, just need 71 milliliters part A and 19 milliliters part B. And the stopper, I using black and white films stopper because the formula looks almost the same, no any problem. Then bleach. There are few kinds of bleach in Kodak ECN2 book. I pick a simple one, this one. It only need two kinds of chemicals. It looks so simple, so I pick this one. I use C41's fixer and the C41's stabilizer. The fixer, I, I don't want to DIY to mix it because the C41's fixer is too cheap. For 10 liter fixer, only one raw film's price. Yes, uh, it's too cheap. If you want a DIY mix the fixer, I think it will be difficult. Something you will be very hard to get it, like uh, ammonium, like something. And also the de develop. The develop why I uh, didn't uh, mix it up by myself, because something I very hard to get it, like uh, CD3, which is most important uh, the chemicals in the developer. Uh, be called the developing agent. Yes, you very hard to get it. This can be called half DIY, right? Don't worry, it works perfect. Compared with the ECN2 kits I was used, there are no any noticeable difference from the result. Yes, it's good. So we prepared the chemicals. Let us start the processing. Using a water bath like this and a cook heater to warm it. The ECN2 required the development time is 3 minutes in 41 degrees, but it will pretty much complicate it. You must be set to water bath set to different temperature for it. Uh, one for developer and the uh, other setting to the 38 degrees. That looks too complicated. Other method I'm using is uh, I change the development time to 4 minutes in 38 degrees. It's more easier to control the temperature. For the result, I would say it looks more better. <laughs> Maybe uh, we are running, developing by hand, uh, not a machine. With a machine, uh, move faster, and, uh, about uh, 60, about uh, 60 or 70 round every minute, which we can do like this by hand. Uh, you can try it. In the ECN2, uh, there is two steps. The temperature control is very important. First one is prebus. The second one is development. Other step, pretty forgiving. Only 10 seconds pre-bus must be in 27 degrees. It just softened the ramjet layer let it easier to remove in the next washing step. If the temperature too high may damage your film, if the temperature too low and uh, maybe it doesn't work. What I do is that take out the pre-bus from the water bus earlier and wait it down to 27 degrees. Then start it. When the pre-bus temperature just at uh, 27, 
pour Prebus into the tank and agitate it gently, must gently, only 10 seconds pour it out, fill up with warm water, then shake it. You don't need to shake it too strongly, just a little bit strongly <laughs> because there are still chemicals remains in the tank. We don't want to damage the film's emulsion. Pull the water out, now you can see the water totally become black. Those are being washed off carbon black. Fill up with warm water again, and then you can shake it strongly if you want. Wash it for a couple of times until the water is completely clear. I would say that the warm water, uh, that means 38 degrees, is good. In ECN2 processing, they are four times washing. Only this time I take it seriously, using 38 degrees warm water, so that the film can adjust the temperature to 38 degrees. Makes it easier to control the temperature in the next step, the development. Pull develop into the tank and agitate it continuously in first 30 seconds, and then agitate it five seconds in every 15 seconds. Soaking tank in water bath when not agitating to make sure that the temperature will stay constant at 38 degrees. When around the five seconds left, pull the developer out, put a stopper into the tank immediately and the stopper for 30 seconds. Then wash it. For the washing, I like to use earful method. Put the warm water into tank, agitate five times, toss it out, refill, agitate ten times, toss it out and refill, agitate twenty times. Bleach and fixing. Bleach being in for three minutes. Then wash it and then fixing for four minutes and twenty seconds. Here I'm not using ECN2 fixer, which is required just three minutes to fixing. I am using C41s, and uh, it requires four minutes and 20 seconds, so I follow that. After fixing, let's open the developer tank and uh, take a look. Wow, it's very good. After will be the washing, but before the wash, we are going to take off the film from the spiral and use a wet sponge or microfiber clothes. Wipe down the film for one or two times just to make sure the ramjet has completely removed from the film. Uh, try not to touch itself and uh, must be very gently. When it's done, roll back the negative and uh, then wash it use Euford method. Five, five times, ten times, and twenty times. I would say the UFO method is a perfect way to wash your film and uh, it can save a lot of water. And then run a last step to soak it in stabilizer for one minute. Now the film is ready to dry. It's very easy, right? And it's also very cheap cost. Only one thing is expensive, the developer but other things, they are cheaper. And next, I'm going to talk in some important notes. About the water. If you're using distilled water for every chemicals, that will be the best, but I would say it's unnecessary. I was read a book about someone uh, talk about every develop, every chemicals. He mentioned in the book uh, only develop need uh, distilled water. The other things, that's okay. The tap water, that's okay. There is a vending machine that sells water of different hardness in my local supermarket. But for the pure water, it's for free. It's very nice, right? So I just using that water. It's not uh, uh, distilled water, just a pure water for developer and stabilizer. The other things, they all mixed by tap water. That's okay. Number two, the continuously using chemicals. There are two different ways to continuously using the chemicals. Extended times or replenishing. 
Kia are formed for extended times to continuously using ECN2 chemicals. You can check it. This method, uh, I don't like it because the result of the first round were different from the subsequent round. And uh, the second method is uh, replenishing. I would like to use this. From Kodak recipe, you, you will find the chemicals, they are different uh, uh, recipe. One for tank solution and the other hand is for replenisher solution. So I'm using this method. First, the pre-bus. The pre don't need to replenish it. And you can reuse it many times. Uh, how much times? Uh, I would say 500 milliliter for 10 film rolls. Absolutely okay. So maybe it can handle the 15 rows, but I think the 10 rows is enough. It's cheap enough. And then develop. Uh, the developer can be replenished many times. And uh, now the film is uh, very expensive. Maybe you can consider it using it as one shot. Because for the C41 developer, now I'm changed, use it as one shot. Because the price of 10 liter developer is about the same as a row of color negative film now. So I changed. The ECN2 developer quite expensive than the C41s. You can consider about it. You can think like this. The chemicals, you only can store it for one year. And uh, how much row you shot in one year. So consider it as one shot is the best but you should be using starter for developer. Kodak's starter is cheaper but here become too very difficult to get it now. So I'm using a Japanese product Orento. It's also cheaper. And then the stopper, bleach and a fixer stabilizer are all using replenish method. The stopper and the stabilizer, working solution and the replenisher solution, they are same. But bleach and the fixer, they are different. You should be pay attention. There is a very important thing is after the stopper, before the bleach, you must wash it completely. Because some remains from the stopper mixed with the ble your bleach, maybe will produce something bad. So in this step, you must take seriously to wash it and uh, be careful. So that's all. What do you think about it? It's pretty much easier, right? If you used to do it, it will pretty quickly about, I will say, the thousand rows one for one day. Uh, that's no problem. It's so, so much cheaper than you sending your finished film to a lab. Although now the motion picture color negative become a little bit expensive now, but still very cheaper than the photography color negative. Do it by yourself. It's, it's quite easy. That way shooting film not become too expensive. Okay, that's all. If you can have any question and uh, anything you want to say, uh, you can leave the message below. Shooting film on a budget, that's the way. Thanks for watching, see you.